Belagar Iron Hammer. Today on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Celeski and welcome to another episode of Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? And today we're going to look at another single character unit. This time it's Belagar Iron Hammer. Now, you know this is an old model because now he's just known as the Warden King. So this predates the 2015 release of, of course, Age of Sigmar. This model actually came out when it was the end times and I bought it back then. So now we're actually gonna go down and open this thing up because now that the new General's Handbook has come out for 2018, I wanna make all my dwarf figures. So without further ado, let's go down to the table and see what's in the box. And here we are with another single character model. This time around we're looking at Belagar Ironhammer, which is now known as the Dwarf Warden King. But this particular model was brought out right when it was the end times for Warhammer Fantasy 8th Edition. And what's nice about this is he's got this nice little oath stone here, as you can see, and the sides of the oath stone. Now you could mount this oath stone right on a round base if you want. Uh, you might lose some of the dynamicness because this is at an angle. Okay, so... Normally I wouldn't open this because I might lose some of it, but... For you people... Here goes the old scout knife in there. Which is dull. Okay, there we go. having some complication cut through the double thickness. Okay. So here is our Warden King. And you can notice the nice detail on that stone, which has the two little dots there, which go underneath here. Now what you can do is, if you're playing Age of Sigmar and you want him on a round base. You can actually cut this out and then on a flat piece of sandpaper you can take this off and grind it on the sandpaper until the height of this comes right down until it's flat pretty much and then you can glue that on a round base and there is his shield right there and the banner top for him which would go in that hole on his back He's got nice detail on the cape and everything. And of course we now get to see his face there. The face of a true Warden King. And the nice thing with Balagar Ironhammer is he was the Dwarf King of Karak Eight Peaks, which was a dwarf hold in the mountains, which actually had uh, Skaven crawling up underneath and orcs on the land and of course they give you the instructions on how he goes together so that basically concludes our review of Belagar iron hammer also known as the warden king may you find a warden king of your own well we hope you enjoyed that episode of monster hobbies what's in the box where we got to look at Belagar iron hammer the new warden king for age of sigmar so, if you like these videos, now is the time when I give you the old call to action. Please make a contribution to our video channel so I can get some like high tech fancy video editing software so I can be like in 3D with a little picture up here and doing some stuff and you know, having a rotating emblem here and all this other, you know, stuff that everybody has all over the place. <laughs> make a little contribution. Every little penny adds up, of course, as you know. And away we go. Uh, do that by going to our Facebook, YouTube homepage and look for the PayPal icon. Click there and it'll lead you to the rest. And if you'd like to check out what models I have for sale, please check the link below. Click on there, find what you like and let me know. And if you'd like to see some more videos of unboxings, check them out here, here and down here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right over here. And if you do so, click the notification bell so that every time a video is made, you can see what's in the box. And until next time, have fun with your own models.